Hello, I'm Drew Devitt of New Way Air Bearings with a quick review of some of the work that's been done at the Turbo Laboratory at Texas A&M University. They've been working on our externally pressurized porous gas bearings that you see here. The results were presented at the 2015 Society of Tribology and Lubrication Engineers meeting in Dallas with Dr. San Andres, a leading gas bearing expert and a style fellow as the lead author. Gas bearing types that have been previously tested at the Turbo Lab include bump and metal mesh foil and flexure pivot hybrid bearings. In fact, the test rig that had been previously used to test both the foil and hybrid bearings is being used in this test. The rotor motor shaft is steel and approximately 30 millimeters in diameter, 200 millimeters long. The motor during this test was capable of 55,000 RPM. With externally pressurized gas bearings, it is common for the gas film to be stiffer than the hardware used to mount the bearings. In this case, the radius of the pad is cut to match the size of the shaft exactly. This is considered zero preload for this industry. But the bearings are preloaded by the adjustment screws so there is less than zero clearance. The support structure is bending out of the way even during adjustment. When the air pressure is turned on to the bearings, they bend the structure further, making room for the pressurized air film. This slide shows drag coefficients for varying supply pressures. The higher the supply pressure, the larger the air gap, and so the lower the friction. Measured friction and coast down times were lower and longer than previously tested foil and hybrid bearings. Regarding stiffness and damping, notice that damping is adjustable, increasing with lower supply pressure. The lower pressure gives a smaller gap that has a higher stiffness resulting in more effective damping. In this case, a damping ratio of 17%. This can be increased again by increasing the preload. Looking to waterfall plots of the tests at varying supply pressures shows the rotor response is mainly synchronous. The absence of cross-coupled stiffness and the actual preload from the upper bearing virtually eliminate subsynchronous whirl. This can also be seen in the cascade plots, where the rotor bearing system does not show self-excited whirl. Here is some video of the rig running at the Turbo Lab. Looks like 10,000 RPM. These are the plots that you can see. So these are the two ends here, right? Yes. Left, right. They look a lot more alike now. Be nice to know how fast we're going. Fifty. Fifty thousand? Yes. Externally pressurized porous gas bearings show promise for supporting rotating equipment. Their high stiffness and damping allows high precision for reduced impeller clearances. Their low friction virtually eliminates shear losses and the destabilizing effects of cross-coupled stiffness.